In this clip, we're gonna talk about the proper way to remove and replace a rear wheel anti-lock brake sensor on a late model Ford Explorer. In this step, we're gonna talk about the proper way to check the continuity of the wiring from your anti-lock computer all the way back to the sensor. What I'm gonna do is I have uh, my heavy duty test light here. And just because the cable only comes in a certain length. I have hooked some jumper cables to the positive and negative side of my battery and ran them back here so I can hook up to them and get a good ground and a good positive. You're going to want to make sure not to touch your cables together or touch them to anything that will conduct electricity while you're doing this test. What I have here is my anti-lock brake sensor connector and it has a hot wire and a ground wire. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and check continuity. Right there, my light lit up. That means that the positive side of the circuit is fine. What I'm gonna do now is take and switch my connectors around. I'm gonna take my test light lead and hook it to the other side of my jumper cable and check the other side of the circuit. If my light lights up, that means both sides of the circuit are good and that indicates that my sensor is bad. It's right under here, switch my connector we grab a hold and test the other side of the circuit. As you can see, the light lights up, which indicates that the negative side of the circuit is good. That narrows the system down to it being a failure with the sensor. That's the proper way to diagnose the wiring and your failed rear wheel anti-lock brake sensor.